Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to divide a trig function. So suppose that we are given some expression like tangent of theta over the cosine of theta. And we want to try to figure out how to write this in a number of different forms. Let's say we want to try to rewrite this in such a way that all of the terms are in the numerator and there's simply a 1 in the denominator. Or perhaps we want to write it in such a way that there is a 1 in the numerator and all of the rest of the information is in the denominator. Or perhaps we want to write it in such a way that we only use the basic sine and cosine functions. There's many different ways we can manipulate it from here. But before we do that, let's go over a few definitions. Call that we have our two basic trig functions, sine and cosine, and all other trig functions are defined based on these. Where tangent is equal to sine over cosine, we have cotangent, which is equal to cosine over sine, we have secant, which is equal to 1 over cosine. And finally, we have cosecant, which is equal to 1 over sine. Well, using these definitions, we can manipulate this any way we want to. So, let's work this way. We can see that if we rewrite tangent of theta as sine over cosine, what we get is sine theta over cosine theta times this denominator here, 1 over cosine theta. So one thing that we could write this as is sine theta over cosine squared theta. So this would be an acceptable answer if you were trying to write this in a form that only uses the two basic functions of sine and cosine. But let's say that we want to write this with only terms in the numerator and a one denominator, like we said earlier. OK. Well, again, we use the same formula here. But let's take this 1 over cosine theta and recall that is equal to secant. So we get secant theta times tangent theta. That works just fine. We could rewrite a different way if we didn't want to use tangent theta at all. We get this sine, this becomes secant, and this becomes secant. So this becomes sine theta secant squared theta. All right, let's do one more. How can we write this in such a way that all of our interesting terms are in the denominator, and we just have one in the numerator? Well, we'll keep our cosine in there. And we recall that since tangent is equal to sine over cosine, we'll end up having a cosine squared in the denominator. But sine, we look at this formula here, cosecant of theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. But the inverse is also true. We can write sine theta as 1 over the cosecant. So we'll extend this out a little bit farther. And there we have it. All four of these terms are equivalent to our original function of tangent theta over cosine theta. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to divide a trig function.